Hello, and welcome to this quick learn demonstration on reporting weekly COVID-19 vaccination data. By the end of this presentation, you will be able to enter and edit COVID-19 vaccination summary data into the NHSN reporting application, as well as review COVID-19 vaccination summary data within the reporting application. This includes checking the create date for your COVID-19 vaccination summary data. Please be advised that the purpose of today's quick learn is to discuss the submission of COVID-19 vaccination summary data. We will not discuss data entry using the person level vaccination forms. In addition, data utilized during this presentation are fictitious and should only be considered for example purposes. This quick learn is geared towards facilities who enter COVID-19 vaccination summary data into NHSN. Currently, there are four COVID vaccination modules in NHSN that are focused on data collection. These include residents in long-term care facilities or LTCFs, healthcare personnel in long-term care facilities, healthcare personnel in non-long-term care facilities, such as ambulatory surgical centers and hospitals, and patients in outpatient dialysis facilities. The next few slides will give an overview of data entry and submission of COVID-19 vaccination summary data in NHSN. Facilities are encouraged to submit cumulative COVID-19 vaccination data to the weekly COVID-19 vaccination modules in NHSN. There are multiple ways that a facility can submit their data into the NHSN application. A facility can enter summary COVID-19 vaccination data directly into the reporting application. A facility can also submit COVID-19 vaccination data via a CSV file upload. Also, long-term care facilities can submit their COVID-19 vaccination data via the person-level data entry forms. As a reminder, this training will focus on entering summary data directly into the reporting application using the data entry screens. In today's example, we will do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to submit COVID-19 vaccination data for long-term care healthcare personnel, HCP, for the reporting week of November 14th, 2022 through November 20th, 2022. During this week, there were 445 healthcare personnel eligible to work at our facility. We will be reporting for these healthcare personnel in the application. As a reminder, this presentation will focus on long-term care facilities but the general walkthrough can be applied to all facility types submitting their data into the reporting application. First, you will log into your facility in NHSN. Once you log into your facility, select COVID-19 on the left-hand navigation bar, then select COVID-19 vaccination HCP. After clicking COVID-19 vaccination HCP, you will be navigated to the vaccination summary data page that displays the weekly vaccination calendar. Users can use the arrows next to the calendar icon to locate records for other weeks. In addition, a legend indicating complete and incomplete records will be present. Green records indicate complete COVID-19 vaccination data that is saved into NHSN while yellow records indicate missing or incomplete COVID-19 vaccination data. Click on the reporting week that you wish to enter COVID-19 vaccination data for. As stated earlier, we will be using the reporting week, November 14th, 2022 through November 20th, 2022 as an example for this presentation. Required fields for completing weekly COVID-19 vaccination data will be denoted by a red asterisk next to the field in the NHSN application. Complete the required fields by reporting your data into the application. Use the tab key on your keyboard to move across the columns as you enter your data. If there are no healthcare personnel or resident data available to report, please enter zeros on the data collection form for those appropriate fields. After entering and reviewing your data, please be sure to click on the blue Save button at the bottom of the data entry screen. 
This is illustrated in the example above. There are built-in alerts in the reporting application for common data quality issues. These alerts can be classified as soft alerts and hard alerts. Soft alerts are classified as warnings that facilities will receive when submitting their data into the reporting application. The example illustrated on the left depicts a soft alert that a facility will receive when that facility reports zero cumulative additional or booster doses for a reporting week. Soft alerts serve as reminders to facilities when saving their data, and as such should not prevent you from successfully saving your data in the NHSN application. Hard alerts, on the other hand, can be classified as errors that facilities receive about their data. The example illustrated on the right depicts a hard alert that a facility will receive when the cumulative number that is entered in question four of the application is greater than a cumulative number entered in question two. These alerts will prevent facilities from successfully saving their data in the NHSN application until rectified. After successfully submitting your COVID-19 summary data into the reporting application, you can return to the vaccination summary data page. As illustrated above, the COVID-19 vaccination HCP record will now be highlighted green. As a reminder, records highlighted in green represent complete COVID-19 vaccination data that was saved into NHSN. Records indicated in yellow indicate missing or incomplete COVID-19 vaccination data. Facilities can select any green record shown on the vaccination summary calendar to review and or edit their saved data. Once data are saved in NHSN, a date created field will be auto-generated and displayed on the data entry screen. Date created represents the date and time that your COVID-19 vaccination summary data was first successfully saved in NHSN. For this example, our create date of March 9th, 2023 indicates that we first submitted our COVID-19 vaccination summary data into NHSN for this particular reporting week on March 9th, 2023. Additionally, a date last modified field will also be auto-generated and displayed on the data entry screen. The date last modified indicates the most recent date that updates have been made to the submitted data. In this particular example, our date last modified indicate that we made changes to our saved data on March 16th, 2023. While checking create dates for your summary data, we encourage facilities to verify that the facility CCN number and the facility ID are correct. Summary data will not be transmitted to CMS if the CCN number or the facility ID number are incorrect. These fields are highlighted in the illustration shown above. The next few slides will outline resources that will assist you as you submit your facility's data into the reporting application. The NHSN webpage contains several training materials that can assist facilities as they report their COVID-19 vaccination summary data. These materials include CSV template files that can be used to upload your data, quick reference guides, training slides on previous presentations, reporting guides on submitting weekly COVID-19 data, access links to the person level vaccination forms for long-term care facilities, as well as access links to the healthcare personnel data tracking worksheets. If you have any questions pertaining to NHSN, the COVID-19 vaccination modules, or any information discussed in this presentation, please send an email to user support at nhsn at cdc.gov. We ask that you include weekly cumulative COVID-19 vaccination along with your facility type in the subject line of the email in order to receive a swift response from our vaccination team.